On time. All right. We're going to move on with this. So, yeah, I'm kind of spending a little bit too much time. I have some stuff I need to go over. So, um, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, the process here, set it equal to 0. x to the fifth minus 7x to the fourth minus 18x cubed. Now, let's factor out an x. But you guys can see we not only just have one x in common, we have x to the third power in common. Remember, dividing out or factoring out an x is like dividing out an x. So think about it. x to the fifth divide out an x to the third. How many times does x to the third divide into x to the fifth? Well, in algebra 1, you guys remember, we're going to go back over this. But when you're dividing, you subtract the powers. So when you factor out an x cubed from an x to the fifth, you're left with an x squared. Okay. So by factoring out an x cubed, I'm left with x cubed times x squared minus 7. Um, 7x minus 18. Well, we've already explained this factoring technique already multiple times today. So that's x cubed times um, x minus 9 times x plus 2. Now we have the product of three factors set equal to 0. So I have x cubed equals 0, x minus 9 equals 0, and x plus 2 equals 0. Well, guys, how do you undo a number cubed? You take the Not well. If it's squared, you want to take the square root. So if it's cubed, you want to take the cube root. Well, the cube root of 0 is just going to be 0. So the solution set of that problem is exactly the same as the other solution set. I have a lot of other stuff to do, so I hope you guys aren't putting stuff away. 